Gamara Hatimatova, whether you are members, extended family, or a guest joining us in the live stream, we are delighted that you have chosen to celebrate Rosh Hashanah with Beth Meyer. It's sobering to recall that one year ago I stood at this bima and spoke directly to hundreds of you sitting in the sanctuary. At that point, I'd been president of Beth Meyer's Board of Trustees for just a couple of months and recognized the steep learning curve ahead of me. I spoke about atid, which in modern Hebrew means future, and in biblical Hebrew means to prepare for, to become ready. What I could not have realized last year when I spoke of atid is that a novel coronavirus would emerge and disrupt our lives in a profound manner. March 2020 will forever be recalled as the time our world changed. Millions sickened, thousands tragically have died. Loss of business, income, loss of connection to others, loss of routines, including school, shopping, community experience, loss of in-person relationships. We struggled with these changes for almost a half a year and it's likely we will continue to face restrictions for months ahead. COVID-19 has forced us to recognize that despite a sophisticated understanding of science, despite preparation and planning, atid, we fall short. Did we really need a pandemic to remind us that like the flawed characters we read about in this morning's Torah's portion, we are far from perfect. And yet, hineni, we are here, we cope, we manage. I imagine there are days you feel like I do, pleased to have completed five or six Zoom meetings, maintaining moderate attention, content that the family actually sat down together for a marginally nutritional dinner. And then there are times I barely recognize myself because my shortened tempered limited ability to provide thoughtful or patient responses to colleagues or to loved ones. I have to admit, I really struggled with the message I was to share with you this morning. There's so much loss in our world, in our Jewish community. I remain focused on all the things we can't do. Gather into the sanctuary on Shabbat morning, celebrate Simcha together, share a nash after services, hug a grieving friend, meet in the parking lot and catch up, study together, work in the biblical garden next to a friend, coordinate play dates for our children after religious school. The list is clearly endless. And for far too long, I remain stuck in my grief. One of the poems, by Edmund Flegenheimer, often referred to as Edmund Flega, a Jewish French writer of the 20th century, helped me move through my sadness. He writes in his poem, I Am a Jew, published in 1927. I am a Jew because in all places where there are tears and suffering, the Jew weeps. I am a Jew because in every age when the cry of despair is heard, the Jew hopes. To be Jewish is to maintain hope. And what better holiday to inspire hope than Rosh Hashanah? Jewish holidays connect us to vital concepts, Passover to freedom, Yom Kippur, atonement, Sukkot, the joy of the harvest. Rosh Hashanah brings us back to the beginning, the head, Rosh, the beginning of creation. It offers potential, what will become, what is yet to be. At Rosh Hashanah, we are invited to look forward. And this year, 5781, we need to look forward to believe that we will soar once again. The pandemic will end, a vaccine will be developed, God willing, but we will be forever changed and that's okay. Our experiences during these isolating stay-at-home restrictions will sweeten the time when we can convene once again. Like the blast of the shofar, 
which calls upon us to awaken from our spiritual slumber, we will be awakened and reminded not to take the mundane for granted, such as joining together in the same physical space throughout the Beth Meyer campus. So, while we cannot be with one another physically this year on Rosh Hashanah, we join together virtually because we are eager to connect with one another. We care about, we're committed to Beth Meyer. We seek engagement, connection. It's in our nature to want to be part of something greater than ourselves. And that connection is now virtual. Services, classes, rituals, meetings, you name it, we Zoom it. I want to credit the creativity and work of our rabbis, staff, and volunteers who successfully pivoted from in-person to online. The incredible offerings during this high holiday are indicative of our commitment to provide our congregation with meaningful and heartfelt services. I must tell you, it has been an interesting challenge to maintain the business of the synagogue during COVID-19. Our daily operations, programs, budget, personnel, working for you, for us, our congregation, revolve around activities in which we interact with one another, and closing the building has clearly disrupted that. Unfortunately, our new strategic plan has been put on hold for another few months until we have stabilized and can thoughtfully evaluate our strategic needs. The board has met virtually since March and has focused primarily on issues related to our immediate needs and tactical management. We've created a COVID-19 task force to respond to concerns related to the health of our employees and community. We continually investigate how to enhance our technological needs in order to support the virtual programs. We strive to main, remain connected with all of our community. Beth Meyer Synagogue and Beth Meyer Preschool are each a 501c3, a nonprofit corporation, and as part of the Federal CARES Act, were eligible to apply for the Payment Protection Program, PPP. Synagogue, preschool staff, and lay leadership recognized the opportunity in the PPP and moved forward with applications. We succeeded in obtaining a payroll protection loan for the preschool of $60,900 and for Beth Meyer, $124,900. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, I'm unable to let you know for sure if the loan has been forgiven as the process of forgiveness has been delayed. But we anticipate that both loans will be fully forgiven. The PPP for the synagogue provides us with much needed financial cushion during this highly challenging time. And the one for the preschool allowed us to pay the preschool teachers for seven, several weeks after we closed in March due to COVID-19. In addition, several generous families donated their tuition to help financially support the preschool despite its closure. This generous act brought to my mind the Talmudic teaching, any person who works for the needs of the community, it is if, as if that person is studying Torah. We have kind and generous Torah students among us. So I keep referring to our closed buildings and need to clarify, Beth Meyer Preschool remained open for summer camp and continues uh, to this day to provide care for the young children. Under the capable leadership of Rebecca Kranz, the director of preschool, our dedicated preschool teachers offer love activities and provide a safe environment for the young children in their care. Safety protocols are followed and everyone, thank God, has remained healthy. The board recognizes that our preschool is more than a place for young children to play and grow. We prioritize support to the preschool as a commitment to our future. The board has also begun the process to hire a director of operations. 
We have a strong search committee and hope to have this position filled soon. On behalf of the board, I offer sincere thanks to the office and senior staff and to key volunteers for stepping in during the interim to cover the critical needs which maintains our regular operations. In addition, the board continues to work on the new endowment for Beth Meyer. Yes, even in the midst of a global pandemic. 2020 has demonstrated that unexpected change is inevitable. Building on the foundation of faith, integrity, and the extraordinary vision of our founders, we are reminded that uncertainty as a part of our future requires planning for our future needs. Hevra, this is a defining time for the Beth Meyer community. We worry, of course, about the potential negative impact as the building remains closed, but we maintain hope and focus on the commitment and trust in you, our community. I remain confident we will rise to the challenge to lift up those who need extra care and those who are able will offer additional resources. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to thank each of you for trusting in, for committing to our Kahila, our holy community. We're asking a lot of you to trust we'll continue to connect in creative and meaningful ways. We'll continue to provide Jewish education for our children. Trust that we continue to deeply care for each person in our community. For those of you who struggle and feel alienated without the physical connection, and for those who feel connected and engaged, we thank you truly from the bottom of our hearts. Wishing you and your loved ones a year of health and a year of hope. Shabbat Shalom and Gemara Chatima Tova. Thank you.